from a megalodon caught rocking a ship to a meg spotted roaming Japanese waters. Though thought to have gone extinct millions of years ago, these recent discoveries prove otherwise. First, let's find out what bit this whale into two. Number 15. A Meg Attacks a Whale Back in January 2009, a father and his son were busy in the ocean fishing off the coast of Hawaii, when suddenly the son spotted something strange on the beach. When his father panned the camera and zoomed in, it revealed a carcass of half a whale lying on the beach brutally attacked from the tail side. Knowing pretty well that whale species form the biggest animal on the planet, the family was left in shock. They couldn't figure out what could have bitten off this whale's tail. However, after local marine biologists analyzed the carcass, they revealed that the tail's whale was bitten off in one bite, and so concluded that the only underwater predator that could be able to bite off the tail of a whale of that magnitude must be a megalodon. Number 14. Fossil Finds the fact that the skeleton of a megalodon is made up of cartilage which doesn't fossilize means that the only fossil material available for scientists to estimate the period of existence of a meg is the teeth, and studies have shown that the teeth of a megalodon are similar in shape but larger and broader than that of a great white shark. Now, in 1985, a pair of megalodon teeth were pulled by the British survey ship HMS Challenger during a deep-sea expedition. After analyzing the set of teeth, scientists were able to reveal that they date between 10 to 15,000 years old. This disproves the claims that the megalodon went extinct millions of years ago. It might as well tell you the monster sea creature could as well be roaming the sea even today. Number 13. Massive Shark Caught on Camera Off New England Coast a marine biodiversity student and musician Alex Albrecht from Seattle captured this footage off the coast of Woods Hole, Massachusetts. The footage shows what looks like a massive shark lurking around a ship carrying research students even as they are heard screaming in shock. And even though he never thought the clip would go viral, when he posted it on TikTok, it caused a stir online. A majority of people who commented about the footage were quick to relate the monster shark to the ferocious prehistoric megalodon. Number 12. Satellite Image of a Meg This recent NASA satellite image, recorded in Sao Paulo, Brazil, has gotten people questioning the return of the prehistoric shark that is thought to have gone extinct 3 million years ago. Because honestly, what else could this dark, shark-like creature be? When this image is compared to an image of a standard school bus taken at the same resolution, we get to realize that the creature could almost be 40 feet long. And as we know, the megalodon is the only shark species that can grow up to 60 feet. So, what are your thoughts about this image? Number 11. Zane Gray's Sighting of the Monster In his Adventure of the Sea, Gray claims to have encountered a massive shark which some people think could be a megalodon. As documented in the novel Megalodon Fact or Fiction by Rick Emmer, Gray claimed to have seen one of the man-eating monsters of the South Pacific, and according to him, the monster was over 40 feet and was yellow and green with a square head, a few white spots, and immense pectoral fins, a description that befits a meg. Number 10. Fishing Boat Attack in South Africa Back in 2013, a team of friends was out fishing on a charter boat off the coast of South Africa when they were suddenly attacked by unknown creatures. The rescuers reported that no one survived the attack, and by assessing the extent of damage on the boat and the traces left at the scene, researchers were convinced beyond any doubt that the attack could have only been executed by unusually large marine creatures, which experts believe were sharks. Now, this leaves us wondering whether the megalodon is still roaming the oceans. Number 9. The Deadly Attack on Swimmers The mysterious disappearance of Robert Pamperin, an engineer at Convair Astronautics Division on June 14, 1959, has left people speculating that he was attacked by a megalodon. The 33-year-old was in the company of Gerald Leira, and the two were freediving for abalones by Alligator Head La Jolla Cove, San Diego, when he was swallowed whole by a large shark in the presence of his friend. Leira, on seeing this, quickly swam out of the water and reported the incident. But even after an intense search, Pamperin's body was never found and the monster shark was never seen again. Number 8. Megalodon Lurking Near a Boat When Key Crawford and his family decided to go boating in the Bay of Fundy, the last thing they expected was making a close call with a monster shark. But that's exactly what happened, and they were left in shock. Crawford was the first to spot the dorsal fin moving through the calm waters off Dipper Harbor, and so he decided to move closer to satisfy his curiosity. 
Initially, he thought it was just a normal shark, but as he got closer and judging by the distance between the shark's fin and its slope, he could tell the creature underneath was enormous. And even though his children thought it was a shark and a baby shark swimming together, research has confirmed that it might have been the great white shark or the basking shark. But the fact that it was so large makes us question what if it was a megalodon? But what do you think? Number 7. Baby Meg on the Coast of Australia when you're a marine biologist, you get to encounter a lot of sea creatures, some familiar and some which leave you with so many questions. In this case, a group of marine biologists from Australia were busy studying the behaviors of great white sharks when they spotted something strange. A big shark approached the site and is seen eating fish as it moves around the water. Looking at its huge size and the jut on its flap, the researchers concluded that the creature must have been a baby megalodon. They admitted that for the almost two decades they've been in water, they've never seen anything like that. Number 6. The Black Demon of Cortez For decades, fishermen in the Sea of Cortez have been reporting sightings of the monster shark. Their description of the monster shark has always been the same, an enormous shark as dark as the night. Locals have come to name it the Black Demon, which is believed to be a gigantic black shark that was first seen off Mexico's Baya coast. And due to its immense size, the monster shark has been compared to a megalodon. And even though there have been numerous sightings of the Black Demon, the 2008 encounter by fisherman Eric Mack is the most famous. According to Mack, the Black Demon rocked his boat while he was in the ocean, and its tail fin jutted five feet out of the water. Number 5. Foreign and the Giant Fish in 1981, Australian marine biologist and author David Stead interviewed several fishermen in New Zealand who recorded having encountered an immense shark of unbelievable proportions. Stead would go ahead to document their stories in his book, Sharks and Rays of Australian Seas. According to the fishermen, the immense shark was about 115 feet long and was so threatening that they could not return to the area. Number 4. Megalodon in the Atlantic Ocean Atlantic Shark Institute researchers were left in shock when they spotted what appeared to be a 50-foot megalodon on sea scanners underneath their boat. The creature weighed 40 tons and it appeared on the fish finder as a massive shark complete with dorsal fins. The news of this discovery went viral on the internet, however their excitement was short-lived. They later discovered that it was a school of fish, or a red herring. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's image features what looks like a massive shark that washed ashore with hundreds of curious onlookers surrounding it. Let's find out more about this image with… Number 3. Giant Shark Found on the Beach A massive shark was found by fishermen washed ashore in Greenland Cove in Bremen. The carcass of the 26-foot creature has raised a lot of questions, with some claiming it might be a megalodon. However, after the state scientists took samples from the animal and analyzed the carcass, they reported that it was in fact a basking shark. Even though they didn't explain the cause of death on this shark, at least they cleared the air on what people thought was a meg. Number 2. Megalodon on the Brazilian Coastline Back in November 2012, Brazilian Coast Guard released aerial footage that shows a 60-foot predator lurking in the sea. The guards were on a normal operation to save a swimmer who drowned in the ocean, but one of the cameras mounted on their plane captured something bizarre. A 60-foot predator that they could not even detect at first because they were focused on the rescue. From the look of it, this is not a whale, and most definitely it's proof that a megalodon might still be lurking in our waters. Number 1. Japanese Megalodon while Japan is known as home to the world's oddest creatures, it turns out that a megalodon might also be among the many strange creatures roaming the Japanese waters. After Japanese scientists left bait on a military vessel in a bay near the Mariana Trench to monitor which sea creature will respond fast, everything seemed normal until their webcam recorded a strange creature that left the researchers baffled. A giant shark of unbelievable size suddenly approached the bait, covering the entire screen. After considering the size of the cage, the researchers could estimate that the massive shark was about 60 feet, which leaves us with no other choice but a megalodon.